I, I always uh, say that uh, you can get bad results with good tool if you don't know what you're doing. Like uh, if somebody wants to make a chair, but you can he can buy the best Makita tool or any other tool. But if the person doesn't know how to make a chair, it won't be a good chair. But somebody who is a good craftsman, even if he doesn't have uh, best tools, but has some uh, simple tools, he will still get something useful. It may not be the, the, the most optimal product, but it will be good. So it's very important that we have uh, people who uh, using these tools uh, understand what they can and what they cannot. I mean, I've seen many uh, attempts to simulate things which are not uh, possible, and also many attempts to simulate things doing 3D simulation where actually uh, a book and the simple equation is enough. And so you have to decide, uh, you know, the engineer needs to know which approach to take and do you want to do three-dimensional simulation uh, uh, with a very complicated, you know, a lot of computing power. As the salesmen from software companies, they don't mind. If, if the people want to simulate, they will sell them license and, and encourage them to always do simulation. But uh, the, the good engineer needs to know, uh, should I do simulation at all? Or maybe I can find an analytical or empirical solution. Should I do a 2D approximation? Should I do steady approximation? Or do I really have to do unsteady simulation using LES or something else? So this is what makes what makes the difference.